Hey everyone, if this is your first time to the channel, please do so. Make sure that you're subscribed, hit that bell for notifications so that way you don't miss another video like this one coming your way. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. It does help our channel grow. Please feel free to leave a comment. We do get back to all of our comments. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Moe's Tour. We come from My Room Tours. And today, here we go. We got some NECA action for you folks. Howdy folks. It's Captain Spaulding's House of a Thousand Corpses. You got to get some of that tasty fried chicken. This is for the House of a Thousand Corpses 20th anniversary Captain Spaulding figure. This might be an, a reissue. I know folks. Uh, yes the reissues or something else but it gives us a second ch ch chance around to get them so this one was very hard for me to find uh back in the day and is now available at target these are at target stores uh i don't know quite yet if they're still like hanging around there but i know that usually when you go in there you would see this figure on shelves um yeah, it's been out for a couple of months now, so um, I'm just getting around to my reviews on this. But what better time than Halloween and to give Sid some Sid Haig some love, man. You got Captain Spaulding's world famous um, murder ride on the side with his tasty fried chicken. Bring home some tasty fried chicken. Take a trip into hell. Kids get in half price. Uh, see Ed Gein. Albert Fish and Dr. Satan. Dr. Satan! Dr. Satan! All right. So on the back of this beautiful box, this card art right here that NECA has presented to us, Rob Zombie has outdid himself with the House of a Thousand Corpses. I figure he's one of the innovators to kind of bring back that 1970s, early 80s feel of horror, that hillbilly type slasher horror that we were all brought up to know and love uh from the old school way of the way that they used to do it uh the way that it's shot the, the film that they would use everything is what rob zombie did with this and i love exactly how this movie turned out a lot of people may not like it but everything rob zombie does you guys already know i absolutely love not too big on the monsters thing but all everything else from three from hell 31 uh devil's rejects and of course house of a thousand corpses um yes so it's just one of those things that he does. So, all right. So this beauty brings a hat, baton, interchangeable hands. All right. So on the other side, here you go. You got the same as the other side that was on the other side. <laughs> okay. NECA Real Toys represented in the bottom. Um, yeah. You guys already know. If you have been following this channel, I absolutely love Rob Zombie. And Sid Haig as Captain Spaulding is one of my all-time favorite characters. Uh, like I said, I would have loved to have met the man when he was alive. But just timing-wise, uh, I had other things that I was doing. So I really couldn't get around to going to conventions to, you know, get an autograph or anything else like that. So maybe uh, just for the collection, I might have to get a rep repable seller uh, that might have something autographed if not an autographed Sid Haig mask and you do know that I did unbox and review the mask and other Sid Haig Captain Spaulding items on this channel you can look down in the library they are there along with uh, Brother Otis so there you go and whatever else is out there from Rob Zombie alright folks so I'm starting the video off with these four right here and there's a reason for it. So a lot of people want to know scale-wise, how does this Spalding um, scale with other Spaldings and other House of a Thousand Corpses figures? Uh, so I put him next to Brother Otis, who is another reissue um, from earlier in the year. I don't know if he's so much another reissue. He might, he's a whole new sculpt and everything else. But um, yeah, this is something that NECA put out earlier in the year. There he is right there, Brother Otis. Uh, of course, we have the Captain Spaulding, um, and of course, we have the other Captain Spaulding from um, the Devil's Rejects and Baby Firefly. So, you know, you can see that they all scale amongst each other great. So, what's funny is this Spaulding scales perfectly with that Spaulding. So, this is the new one, and this is the old one, the one that was uh, from back in the day. 
So yeah, NECA kept it real and had them scale perfectly. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to see other characters here. Um, obviously, I don't own the um, Tiny. So Tiny is out there. They have a Tiny version. And uh, they never made the other brother who was the tow truck driver. And also, I would love to see the mom, you know, Mother Firefly. Either version of Mother Firefly from the House of a Thousand Corpses or the Devil's Rejects. Either one of the two, I would take, you know, just for that way I could add to the collection. Maybe give us like a, a cool little like two pack or something that NECA can do. Uh, you know, maybe like a San, San Diego Comic-Con or something like that. Make them exclusive two-pack of like uh, the cops uh, or of like some of the dead girls would be pretty cool. Uh, if they were to do the naked versions of the dead girls uh, for Brother Otis, uh, obviously they would have to be an exclusive item that's not on store shelves. So something like that for like a San Diego Comic-Con would be perfect. Alright folks, so it's tail of the tape time. Uh, please pardon the noise in the background. That is a fan because here in California it is just still scorching. I just don't get it out here out in the valley. So um, yeah, this weather is just something else. I mean, it is scorching. And to put the AC on is just like man the money is just incredible how big your bill is. But uh, I'm sorry I threw that in but I just wanted to say. Um, anyway, our Spalding is checking in slightly under seven and a quarter inches. So he's under that. So barely underneath that. So, um, yeah, let's see here. Centimeters wise. Maybe he's a little closer in centimeters. Yeah, he's he's about 18 and a quarter centimeters. All right. So as you can tell, our Spalding is not going to have a lot of articulation. But he does bring a few gadgets. So you can see his top hat um, on this top hat you could tell like the paintwork and everything is not all that great um, I mean you can see like the smudging and everything but it's his so it goes to him it goes to our Spalding so it's pretty cool and it's a more of a softer molded plastic but yet the top piece is very hard molded right there um, so you can see that all right. He also brings his baton. So there you go. Keep this out of reach, children, because it could break, uh, and you do not want them swallowing any of this. So or your pets. Uh, so this thing, yeah. There you go. And also he brings an alternate hand. This is the hand that says love. This is obviously would be his right hand. Um, it would have been cool if he had brought the middle finger one like the other Spaldings did. So if you want to see those, you could look down into my library when I unboxed and reviewed those. They are still in the bin somewhere. So like I said, we're still trying to unbox stuff little by little as we have moved. And we've been here for around seven months already. And we just have so much stuff, folks. So sorry about that. Um, but here is our um, Spalding. So I will give him a turn. Like I said, he's not going to have a lot of articulation on this guy. But the paintwork is updated. Looks real good. Um, but there are like areas where you can see where they painted the dots on um, and everything else. So, yeah, it's... But, I mean, what do you expect? But, I mean, you can still see like the seam amongst the clown pants and everything else which is cool which is a positive so do you guys prefer articulation over like the way a figure looks leave it in the comments um, would you prefer a figure that just looks really good but lacks a lot of articulation versus a figure that you could just see all the joints all over the place because this would be one that if they were to put joints on this this would be very very uh, I don't know it just wouldn't look or feel right to me um, unless he has real clothing on. Uh, if they had put him with the real clothing on, which I did unbox and review one uh, with real clothing, and you could go down into my library and check that out for you could see the difference amongst the two. And let me know which which way you prefer it. All right, so there you have it. Um, yeah, he 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 looks good. Uh, let me give you an up close. There you go, folks. 
Yeah, I know you've seen others do and unbox and review these quite a ways ago. Um, but I'm just getting around to him. Um, yeah. And also he brings the murder ride, the opening, you know, that's how you go in right there while they come out or go in, whatever it is. There you could, there you have it. That is part of the movie. And, um, yeah, he brings that diorama right behind him. So he does bring that, which is a positive. All right, folks, so let's get down to the review. It's not going to be a very long review. So obviously his head looks down. So he is on a ball joint on the head, and then the neck is also on a joint. So I believe that the neck might be on a ball joint because you see how the neck can move also. So you can see that too. So they gave him a lot of neck articulation and all the way up into the head. Obviously, he can hit that Michael Myers super good. Um, this figure is something else. He is, you know, have any of you guys seen like the photos of when he, uh, before Sid Haig passed away with the young Art the Clown? Um, David Howard Thornton is Art the Clown when they were at when they were at events together and they were actually both being having their makeup done at the same time look that up and you could see the two together uh, before he passed which was amazing due to the fact that Art the Clown has become a huge iconic character um, so yeah it's like as if he almost passed the torch down to him you know um, but there you go uh there is our guy, and obviously his arms do go up fairly high. Look at that. Looks real good, folks. Real good. Uh, you, you guys already know how I feel about this figure. I don't think that this figure can do anything wrong to me because wrong for me because I love the character. So I will always speak very highly of Sid Haig. Huge fan. Even when he did... Um, Night of the Living Dead. He did a remake of that. Okay, there you go. So there is swivel amongst... You can see it right here. You can see that. Okay, single joint. Got that swivel going on. And he does have that rotation, folks. So, yeah. And the other hand is exactly the same. You can see that. Everything works good. Yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> All right, so he does have articulation on the hands. He does have hinge work on the hands. And then if you look on his hands, they say love, hate. And there you go. He got his hands tattooed. And then right here, you're wondering, is this all hard plastic? No, his, his gown, his, uh, what do they call these? The, um, the penguin tail like suit uh, coat. Yeah, the penguin tail suit coat, or leave it in the comments if you know exactly what they call those. Um, but yeah, these are from the old days, so this is a soft molded plastic, and it does have the skull right there, which is really, really cool. Uh, in case you're wondering what I'm talking about, you can see the skull right there. Um, yeah, that's, I love that skull. That's the one that he had, remember, I think he has it on his bow tie when he's dressed the, in the other clown suit. So that's the one he would pull and yeah, 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 yeah. And the eyes light up and everything else. But you can see how NECA clearly just painted all this. So yeah, some of it's good. Some of it's kind of off a little. You can see kind of some holes going in there and, and all that. So yeah, it's already, figure's already young, but looks like it's starting to eat away a little bit right there. So, don't know what's going on with that. Just pulled him out of the package. And then he has articulation rotation at the waist. And folks, right here on his feet, he has rotation. Tilt rocker, which is very odd. Up, b moves up, down very slowly. And this foot does about the same. And that's about it for our review. All right, so let's take a look at him with his top hat on. We could put his top hat on right now. Look how he looks. Yeah, this is a bad dude right here. It's Sid Haig, baby. How could you go wrong? It's a badass dude, man. All right, let me pick this one up so you can see that. Look how that looks. That looks really, really good, folks. 
So here is our Spalding with baton in hand, folks. Um, yeah. There you go. Baton, he has his hat. Waving at everybody. Come on by Captain Spalding Fried Chicken. Get yourself some. Um, yeah, Tasty Fried Chicken. Check out our mu Museum of Monsters and Madman. Ride our infamous murder ride. This is that cat right there. This is that bad mofo that everybody uh, who has watched this movie has known now and loved. So this one's out for you, the late Sid Haig. Uh, rest in peace, my friend. We absolutely loved all of your work when you were here with us. Well, all right, folks, that'll do it. From here from Moe's Toy Room, hopefully you enjoyed this review of Captain Spaulding. Uh, this is a NECA and Real Toys action figure and is on shelves now at Target's. And I think you might even be able to find them on Best Buy. So you could go on to BestBuy.com or you could go on to Target.com. Uh, you could also check out um, like Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth. They might have them in stock still. Well, they might have them in stock finally. Uh, with them being a pre-order uh, but you could probably walk into Sun Targets and find this right off the top so yeah the retail on this is probably gonna be about 35 bucks maybe 34 99 uh, I don't remember what I paid for it but I know it was around there uh, so please like comment subscribe and for most term yours everyone good night